Hello, bonjour, bonjour everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril, I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients and for my very last video of this year of 2019 I want to talk about my basically my favorites of this year so they are going to be my I would say personal uh, favorite products because um, what I have showed you in my best of uh, 2019 is basically what are the products that have impressed me the most but they are not necessarily my own personal favorite because I always try on this channel to give you as much advice as I can to to help you in your own skincare uh, journey and routine and from time to time you can uh, a product can be suitable for me and for my skin type but not uh, necessarily uh, for you of course my biggest favorite of this year is simply you i am though so thankful to have you here on my channel i have started this youtube channel in september of 2018 so basically this channel is a little bit older than a year and i am so uh, i would say impressed by um, all of you for for being here and always showed up when i do um, and post a video so thank you so so much for this uh, amazing year i always try to answer to all your comments of course, because the channel is growing, I don't know how long I will be able to um, to answer to almost all of you, and I'm very sorry uh, for that. My second favorite is, of course, uh, my dog Gobao. So it's now, um, how old are you, my dear? Almost actually uh, seven months now. He has grown um, a lot, and uh, it brings me a lot and a lot of um, joy. So I'm going to let him um, go back to sleep because. <laughs> <laughs> is not really happy. <laughs> so in terms of my favorite skincare, let's first talk about cleansing. Definitely my first product that I love, love to use in the PM is a proper cleansing balm. If I have to choose between an oil and a cleansing balm, I do prefer a cleansing balm because I love the texture and how it glides on the skin, especially now that we are almost in a winter, or maybe we are in winter, <laughs> but basically now it's uh, really uh, cold. My uh, favorite one is the Clinique one, Take the Day Off. I love everything about this one. I know that it removes um, hardcore makeup. It also glides beautifully on the skin, so you can really give some time to really message in the product. At the same time, it wins pretty easily, but it doesn't strip uh, the skin. It is also fragrance-free, irritant-free. It doesn't have any essential oils or a uh, weird ingredient. And it is also so nice um, to use. It is a little bit pricey, I have to say. It is around, uh, I think, uh, $25 uh, or something um, like that. And you only get uh, 125 ml or 3.8 um, O's. So that's not a lot and you do need a, quite a lot, I would say, to really um, massage in the skin. Don't um, underuse it, but this is definitely my favorite uh, cleansing bowl if I have to choose um, only one. So moving to water-based cleanser, without any surprise, this is the one from Crave Beauty, the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. I am simply addicted uh, to this one. I love everything about this one. It is also, It works also really nicely on my skin. If you have a super dry skin, I would not recommend um, this one, but if you don't, um, so basically normal to all your skin, you can definitely try it. Another one that I don't, uh, that I almost never talk about uh, on this channel is uh, this one from Dove. This is the Beauty Serum, the Conditional Facial Cleanser, Soft and Smooth Moisturized uh, Skin. I don't talk a lot about it because you only find it in Asia and I've uh, never been able to find it on Amazon, etc. So I bought this one when I was in Taiwan. So this one does have um, perfume. Like I've said many times, if there is perfume in a wash of product, I don't really uh, mind them, but still be careful about um, this one. It is like a really luxury cream, so I really love the texture. It doesn't really lather much. It is also super gentle uh, on uh, the skin. I really love uh, this one. So if you are in Japan, I think it is also available if you are in Malaysia. It is definitely available in Taiwan because this is where I got it. Um, try this one. It is also uh, super inexpensive. Uh, I love this one. Another product that is 
definitely not needed, but I've been uh, really into it uh, recently, is simply to use a uh, water mist. So my favorite one is from uh, Biodama. Why I love this one is because it also contains some humectants in form of sugars that you find in all uh, Biodama products. And I'm going to make a video about um, what I think about Biodama as um, a brand. And then you'll see that I'm pretty, I would say, positive about it. And if I have to change one of those uh, French pharmacy brands, I would definitely go with uh, Biodama. And how I use it after I double cleanse my skin, I tap it dry and then I spray it with uh, this meat and, and I'm probably going to make also um, a video about those type of product for one particular um, issue so definitely stay tuned uh, about this but I simply uh, love the feel about it but this is definitely not something that is necessary also a problem uh, with those type of product with those uh, water mist is that they are water so the, the pH is basically pH uh, 7 and to have been better if they um, to buffer it to pH uh, 6 to 5. Anyway, love this one. I also use it in the morning. Once I've took my shower, tap it dry my face and then I miss my face uh, with it. After this, what I love to use is simply an hydrating essence, toner, lotion, whatever the name. Without any surprise, I've been talking and gushing about this product for such a long time. My favorite one for my skin tap is the Promom Lotion from Adelabo. If you don't like the um, sort of sticky feel in some um, skin type, it can be a little bit sticky because it has a derivative of uh, urea. In that case, you can simply use the Coco June Lotion, the normal one. I'm going to link all the product down below. Again, I love, love this one. This is a hyaluronic base hydrating lotion. I don't necessarily use every single time an hydrating serum, but when I do, my absolute favorite one is from the French brand SVR. I also have a video about it. This is the Ampoule B Hydra. This is Yelenic Acid plus 5% of niacinamide. And oh my God, this one is so, so good. It is definitely one of the best. If you can try it, try this one. Also, it is perfectly true. So in terms of exfoliant, my favorite ways for sure is by using a peeling solution. So I was using for almost six months or something like that in the beginning of the year, the Kenaluya from Crave Beauty that I still love very much. But recently I have discovered this one from Ducret. This is the Meta Screen, the Intense Care, and this one features acetic acid plus glycolic acid. And oh my God, I love it so, so much. And this is definitely now my favorite methods to exfoliate my skin. The reason is because it has acetic acid plus glycolic acid. So it is uh, quite potent, but at the same time, the formula is so emollient which I am all um, about. And this is also something that is um, very important because when you exfoliate your skin, you, you want to over moisturize your skin and you can definitely uh, do it by using uh, this one. My favorite retinol, so I have two. One that I don't have uh, currently is when I, I want to use like uh, a super potent uh, retinol, especially in the beginning of the year. This is the one from uh, Paula Choice, the 1% retinol treatment. This one is simply amazing. Or it is also from the French brand, the SVR, the Ampoule A. This is the one that I've been using for how long now? Maybe four months or something uh, like that. This one is uh, very, very uh, well done. I also had amazing results on myself and also um, on a friend because uh, usually on this channel, I don't only test product on myself, but also on a friend and from time to time on several products. I also like to dilute my retinol using the Adalabo, the premium milk. This one is also an excellent product. So in terms of moisturizer, this one that I've been loving for, for a long time and that I like to use when my skin is messed up. So when I know that I've been trying too many products for the channel, for example, or simply my skin is not happy or it is too drying or it has a reaction to a retinol or over exfoliation. The product that I always go back is this one. This is the perfect job from Adelabo. I have a whole video about Adelabo, so if you want to know more, definitely check it out. But the perfect gel is simply amazing. It is a little bit tacky, but it works simply perfectly for my skin and it really put back my, my skin in a healthy state. And definitely when I do the Adelabo routine by layering first the premium lotion, then the premium milk, and then the perfect gel, 
my skin becomes almost flawless uh, the next morning. It also provides my skin with a lot, lots of uh, humectants and also emollients. Another um, moisturizer, and it is actually two moisturizers because I, I love to make them. I don't think I have ever talked about this combination on my channel is this one, the support preparation, the all over lotion from Claire's. I have also a video about this one that I'm going to link and I love to mix it with the other cream from Claire. This is the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Why I love to mix them is because when I mix them, I increase the moisturizing power of the lotion and I love to do this, especially at night and I usually do a one-one uh, ratio with um, those two and it works simply beautifully. The last moisturizer that uh, I love that is almost flawless because I do think that it contains a perfume but it's very minimal. This is probably what we call a masking perfume. Is this one from the Taiwanese brand, the For Beloved One. This is the Lumi Skin Black uh, Truffle Moisturizer, the Supreme Cream. I love this one and also this one really suits uh, my skin. This one is definitely targeted more for like normal to uh, dry skin type. I have already told you this, but my skin type is, uh, I would say normal to dry on my cheeks, normal on my T-zones, and I am also acne prone. Now that I'm definitely older, I have less uh, breakouts, thanks God, but I do get them usually around my beard. If it is the case, uh, a feature that is really convenient when you have a beard that you have like the natural uh, makeup so you don't uh, you don't really see it but when I have a pimple the way that I like to treat them I like to either stick a patch especially when I feel that I'm going to squeeze and destroy the pimple putting a patch on really helps a lot to I would say calm down the inflammation it's not going to make a drastic change but what is really nice, I find with those patches, is that first of all, it prevents you to destroy the pimple, which is uh, most of the time a really bad idea and leaves you with a mark that can take ages to heal. And also it tends to flatten the skin. So the next day, if the pimple is really too horrendous uh, and if you want to put a little bit of makeup uh, by using a patch, it helps because it will be uh, flat. Two other products that um, I like to use that I find uh, pretty efficient. It is this one, this is the um, Pat uh, SOS. What is the name in English? The, actually no, I don't know. It's the Isiac from Uriage. So this is a paste that is uh, that mainly contains uh, clay with zinc oxide. I also love to put like um, a bill blob on top of my breakouts, especially when I have it on my beard, definitely I cannot put um, a patch uh, over there and it does help to uh, fade them out. What I love about this paste is that it doesn't dry the skin out because I really hate when those products are so drying that they make your skin peel. Another one that is also uh, very efficient is this one from Cos RX. This is the Santella Blemish Cream. So basically it is a very equivalent from the one from Uriage, but this one also contains tea tree oil. And also the texture doesn't set as uh, good as the one from um, Uriage. So those are only PM treatment because you cannot uh, use them uh, during the day. And also bear that this one contains tea tree oil. So if you have any allergy of very sensitive skin, don't try the one, but go with uh, the Uriage. When I really want to pamper my skin, I usually wear a sheet mask just after my hydrating lotion. So basically the Adalago one. I like to put a sheet mask. I don't do it uh, every time that I have period, but I do like to spend more time on my skincare routine. They are, this is definitely a product that is not a necessity. You do not have to use them. My favorite one is also this one from the Taiwanese brand for Beloved One. This is the Advanced Anti-Aging Ceramids Colon Biocellulose um, Mask. Uh, two things that I love about this one is that it is uh, packed with humectant. It also has a nice um, emollient to lock in the water. And also it is not one of those that are made with uh, cotton. This one is made of uh, cellulose. And so when you put it on your skin, it is uh, really smoothing. And also this one stick to the beard, but it is a very pricey one. I, uh, I got those every time I go to uh, Taiwan. So the next category is of course sunscreen. You know how addicted I am to sunscreen and I do recommend you that you wear every single day a sunscreen, a sunscreen of SPF 50 plus. Never go below. The whole idea is that the less UV is going to 
enter your skin the better especially in terms of um, anti-aging so i have several depending on the condition and what i am i would say aiming for when i am basically mostly at home i want something super simple that doesn't feel like uh, sunscreen also for my hands or when i simply walk my dog in the early morning or pretty late during the day but there's still some uh, sun the one that i like and i prefer either one from claris this is the softer uv s and sbf 50 plus pa rating of four pluses but i'm not going to wear this one um, by itself if i know that i will be exposed to a lot of sun the two other sunscreen that i love to use when i want to have a, a pre a super high protection but at the same time i want to have a skin that is really i would say uh, beautiful and not super shiny and etc and i just don't want to use like powder or something to mat down the sunscreen the two that i love to use is first of all this one from skin aqua this is the uv super moisturized milk pink spf 50 plus pr routine of four pluses what i love about this one is that it has a sort of pink white cast to the skin that i find really elegant and pleasant on myself so you have um, an excellent UV protection and at the same time you have a very nice finish. So definitely on the day that I don't want to wear any makeup or nothing but I still want my skin to look uh, good. This is the one that I use. The other sunscreen that I love to use is this one from Anessa. This is the perfect UV sunscreen skincare milk SPF 50 plus pure rating of 4. Plus is, I love to use this one when I want to have a really excellent finish, so pretty normal, not too matte, not too shiny or everything. So basically, I don't want to look crazy. And when I am in a really humid uh, country, especially or during summer, basically when I want to have an excellent finish, this is the one that I would um, choose. And also, I have to say that the protection, I don't know for the UVA protection, but it's amazing. And this one forms a super waterproof film that is basically uh, bulletproof. The two other ones that I love to use, especially when I'm on vacation and I know that I will be outside for a very long time and I don't mind to have a finish that will be less uh, elegant than the one from Anessa, is this one from Ultrasound. This is the Face Fluid, the Brightening Anti-Spot and Anti-Pollution SPF 50 plus peer rating of 4 plus it. This one is also a European sunscreen. I love, love this one. Or a recent discovery, this one from Ducre. This is the Light Cream in the Melas Cream range SPF um, 50 plus. Both of them also use uh, channels of hemp though they do have a white cast and it can uh, clean a little bit on your facial hair. A good way to make them work better is simply to use a cushion uh, puff. The last one is this one from SVR, the Cicavit, the cream that I tend to use uh, more and more, especially around my eyes because first of all, it doesn't stink my eyes. Then it is also an excellent makeup base when I apply concealer. And what I also love about it is that it is so emollient that it really smooths my under eyes. So this is uh, one of the sunscreen that I use uh, the most on a daily uh, basis. So again, thank you so much for this um, amazing year and for being uh, always here and to show up on my videos. It really means a lot uh, for me and this is so uh, motivating. If you are new to this uh, channel and if you like this video, please thumbs up. Consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am Siri Laurent. I have um, a lot of short uh, videos again about skincare and sunscreen and etc. I thank you so, so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.